1950, CBC Radio recorded Christmas at Pooch Cove. The show featured songs and music recorded in the community, and through the magic of radio, listeners were invited here into the house of a local fishing family. Here in the living room of the home of Mr. Harold Bragg at Pooch Cove, there is a real Christmas atmosphere. The room is very gaily decorated. Uh, garlands of colored paper are stretched from the light fixture in the middle of the ceiling to the four corners of the room. There was no money, but I remember there was always a good meal. Joyce Manning can recall that day CBC came to her home. She was 11 at the time. We were all excited, but we didn't know we were going to, I didn't know I was going to be interviewed. Oh, really? I didn't know at all. And you were very, children were very shy then. Joyce is the baby of the family. That's now, right. Joyce, tell us, what did you get for Christmas? I got a pair of fur lined boots and a sweater and get some games. It was a bit of make-believe for radio. The show was actually recorded weeks before Christmas. Little Joyce was only guessing what kind of pragmatic gifts would be under the tree. But then the host reached into his bag for something almost magical, something she'd never seen before. Look, uh, I think you got something in the line of a music box, did you? Yes, sir. And uh, what is it exactly? Can you explain it? I think it's a thing you wind up, is that right? Yes, sir. Oh, there it is. You wind it up. And now you take off the cover and there you have it, music. So, I was going to tell my friends so I had a music box, right? but I didn't get it. <laughs> she didn't get it because it was never going to be hers. The music box went back to CBC with the host. It was just a prop to add a little sparkle to the show. Joyce never saw it again. Well, I thought it was mean. <laughs> I just thought, oh, this is nice, right? But because he had it, I thought it was mine. But I didn't, I didn't tell my parents or anything, because they probably would say, well, it wasn't yours, so you couldn't have it. Joyce has children of her own and grandchildren, but she never forgot the best Christmas gift she never received as a girl. Neither did we. Well, this may be a little bit late, but a little something to uh, compensate. Oh, my goodness. A music box. Oh, isn't that nice? You're not going to take it back, are you? <laughs> no, we wouldn't dare. This one's for keeps. <laughs> to Joyce from CBC, 2012, 1950 Christmas at Pooch Cove. Lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Vicodopia, CBC News, Torbay. Yeah.